The key is keeping yourself and your family tick free. Now, how exactly do we do that? Okay, the education is all on our website here, but this is gonna be a portion of it. First off, understand when you're out early in the year, you're dealing with the larva stage of the black-legged ticks. They're little guys, they can't crawl very high. Where are you gonna get them? They're gonna come on your feet is where it's gonna start. So, the first thing that you've gotta realize is I need to have my socks treated. Now, in every case, what you want are clothes treated with this product right here. This is Insect Shield's um, product Permithrin. And this product, when you put spray it on your clothing, if a tick walks across one inch of clothing that's treated with permethrin properly, they will not bite you, number one. Number two, they'll fall off you stone dead within a couple of minutes. So this is the product that you want to treat. Now this um, permethrin is made only for treating clothes. This is not for spraying on your arms to keep bugs off, although it'll repel mosquitoes and gnats and other things too. But this is for treating clothes, period. That means the first thing you start with are your socks. When you're treating anything, you have to open it up and treat the inside completely. So take the sock, turn it inside out like that, hang it where you can, spray it down completely, let it dry. Once it dries, you bring the sock back right side out and you treat it again. It's just that simple with every piece of clothing. Now, you, why your socks? Um, because that's where they're gonna come on to you first is on your feet. So the last thing you do once you get all your clothes on is you take your shoes and you spray them down too. Now you're gonna have treated socks on the inside. I might be a little bit of a fanatic, but I don't wanna give them any possible chance to find any place on me that they can bite me. So like when I'm going turkey hunting in spring, which is the worst time to be out there because you're, you're, you're sitting right in their living room where all the little larvae are ravenous for their, um, some cases first blood meal and in some cases their second blood meal, but they have to have a blood meal as soon as they can in spring to grow. So I take one of these performance clothes, this is a real fine light stuff, and I treat this as well inside and out. Make sure you get the armpits, you make sure you get it really good around any place there's any openings. And I put a bottom layer on as well. Now I take this bottom layer and I tuck it into the socks um, and bring the socks up over them. So my legs are completely treated, uh, the socks, and it goes up to uh, the performance layer which covers my whole body. Next will be whatever your pants are. You do them the same way. You turn them inside out, you spray them down completely with the permethrin here. Again, this is the product, and uh, this is available on our website and so forth. You can do this yourself. It's not an expensive thing. Just buy a few cans, and you can treat yourself and your kids if they're going with you or whatever. But you treat everybody the same exact way here now, because if you're a little person or a big person, it still only takes one bite from a tick, and you've got a problem. So you make certain that you do a great job around uh, the inside of the clothing and the outside so everything is covered completely. You do that with your shirt and your pants. Now typically, if you just did your shirt and your pants and not the performance layer, it will give you the protection that you need. This just adds to the protection and gives me a little better feeling about knowing that I have went the extra mile to not give the tick a chance at me. All right? And that's really all you need to treat are your um, pants and your shirt, the things that are gonna be against your body. Um, however, that leaves your whole neck, the back of your neck, and so forth if you're wearing normal clothes that is not treated, your hands and so forth. That's where this product comes in. This is called Tick Defense, it's made by Repel, and the active ingredient of this topical is picaridin. Picaridin does a very, very good job on ticks, 
As a matter of fact, it will kill ticks as well. Uh, perhaps not as fast as permethrin, but it will. But it's made for a topical lotion. So you can spray this on your hands. You can spray this around your neck. I mean, some of the adult ticks might fall off of a branch and land right up here. They don't have to make the migration up your body. So I'm not going to give them a place where they can land and get on me. So I'll, I'll cover everything that skin that's not touched by clothing, I'll cover it with this stuff and make sure that I get good coverage as well um, to keep uh, the ticks out that way. Last couple of things I do, if you're gonna wear a hat, I'll spray the outside of the hat as well, as well as the inside of the hat, around in here where it's gonna touch my head and work as a barrier for any ticks that might have some chance to get on me. I'm not gonna give them much at all. Now, if you want, if there's, you're at a time of the year where there's a bunch of mosquitoes out, I brought a jacket out here. If you want to repel uh, mosquitoes as well as uh, any other things, these same products will do that. Both products will repel mosquitoes and gnats and black flies, but these products kill ticks. So you can just spray the outside of your jacket down if you want, and it'll act like any other insect repellent does. I do the same thing. Now, again, being a fanatic, if it's a little cool in spring, I'll sometimes wear a vest. Personally, I'll treat the vest or every other layer of clothing that I have on my body. I want any tick that touches me to fall stone dead. I don't want to take the chance. I've had Lyme three times, and I swear to God, I'll never have it another tick-borne disease again. And there's no reason for any of us to if we do this, but you've got to realize, hey, you have to be a tick conscious family. You and your family have all got to think about this the same way. Every time we go outside, every time we're like in our front yard here, now out in the middle of the lawn, ticks are not gonna be there. They want to be by edges. The edges where the lawn meets the woods is a perfect place. They like the leafy cover and the moist leafy cover to go underneath and, and, and so forth. Um, and there are things you can do that way too that are on the website here to protect your yard and lower the amount of ticks down in your yard. Right now we're talking about when you go out hunting, um, turkey hunting and bow hunting are the most susceptible when it comes to hunting. But man, <laughs> uh, let's take a look at golfing for example. As I understand it, and it's not me, but as I understand it, a lot of time guys spend a lot of time out in the woods looking for their balls. And uh, tell me they're not at home right in the ticks living room doing that kind of stuff. People just out for a hike, walking on a trail, biking, uh, by a fishing access, uh, you know, walking back down to the boat landing and so forth. You're on the edge of whatever's there. Places where ticks hang out, they're everywhere. They're in the cities, they're, they're everywhere. If you're a gardener or you like, you've got a bunch of flower beds around your household, when you go outside, have clothing um, treated with permethrin on you and don't give them a chance at you. The only way we're going to beat it, we can't stop the populations of ticks as they keep growing and growing and growing. What we can do is get smarter and better educated and with the products that are available on the market right now, if you do it right, like my, I took three of my daughters this last year to Kansas where I've got Lyme disease twice, and my daughter Jasmine's got it once. The four of us turkey hunted for four days. We never had a single tick of any type on us. And that's the, and we were on, sitting on the ground, sitting in the ground blinds and walking in the grass, walking in the woods, every place ticks would be. We never had a single tick on us, none of us. So, I mean, it will work 100% if you do the right things right. That's the key. Okay, and one final thing that I'd highly recommend. This is a little tool here, it's called Tickies. You see what the packaging looks like? Again, it is for sale on the, the website. This end has got a little crowbar thing, so if you've got a great big tick, you wanna get underneath that tick and then just, and then you just pry them out. On the other end of this tool is a very fine, you can see how fine the points are of, uh, tweezer here. The last thing you want to do is grab a tick 
by the body and squeeze it and pull him off of you or her off of you. When you squeeze that tick, I mean, you're going to squeeze whatever is in its mouth and its tube and so forth into your body. Saliva and, and more chance for germs. The last thing you want to do is grab the tick and squeeze it off. Carry one of these in your pocket. They're, it's again called tickies. And here's what I do. And here's the best thing you can do. Take your tickies tool, throw it in a plastic bag like so. I have one of these in my truck council. I have one of these in my glove compartment of my boat. I have one of these in my fanny pack when I'm out hunting. I have one of these in my turkey vest when I'm out hunting. This little tool with a plastic bag. If you do happen to do something wrong and get bit by a tick, do yourself a favor. Use the tweezers or the other end. And that's the other end, the little pry bar is only for fat ones. So use the tweezers, take that tick out, put it in a plastic bag, seal it up. And then you can write on here the date and, and so forth. But you save that tick. Just in case um, you get some kind of a reaction or some symptoms here, that tick can be sent in to a tick diagnostic center and it tells you where on the website. And you can have the tick tested to find out, is it infected? Um, that's a big factor that can help them from you being misdiagnosed. So, and it, to me, it's a, a part of being a tick conscious family. Your children need to know how to use one of these as well. So, I mean, make up some kits for every one of the kids when we're out turkey hunting will have their own in their pocket like this with a plastic bag. And it's just an in case of. Or if you're looking to take a big engorged tick off of your dog, that little pry bar end is exactly the piece that you want to use in order to do that. Um, so make sure that you have one of those with you at all times, and then you're prepared for the worst that they can give you, everything.